I've been seeing a lot of people wondering what is the best exotic for Super DPS between Celestial Nighthawk and Star Eater Scales. So today, we're going to find out which one is better. Before we start, however, all the Shattered Throne is done, solo. I'll link the live stream video in the description in case you want to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, it's the best way to support my channel. And leave a like so that this video can reach the masses. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? I've covered the scales in depth in a previous video, so I won't go over them much. However, there was a recent patch that changed the functionality of the boots. Now picking up orbs with your super ready grants you a single stack of Feast of Light that tops out at 8 stacks. They also receive just a slight nerf. Using your super with a 4 stack grants you 55% damage now as opposed to 60%. This doesn't really hurt them to be fair, so they are still very strong. And then we obviously have the Eagle Face Exotic Helmet that grants you a single shot of Golden Gun, Celestial Nighthawk. Paired with Bottom Tree Gunslinger, it does the most damage due to the Precision Damage modifier. Let's see some numbers, shall we? A single Celestial Shot does just over 300,000 damage to this Lost Sector boss and insta-kills it. The following clip is the same subclass but using the Star Eater Scale Exotic Boots with 4 stacks of Feast of Light. Landing all 3 shots does a total damage of 345,000, which is significantly higher than the Celestial Nighthawk by roughly 40,000 points. And the damage can be even more higher with 8 stacks. With 8 stacks, it does a total of 379,000 damage, which dwarfs Celestial Nighthawk completely. The other issue with Celestial is that if you miss your shot, you're fooked, basically. At least with Star Eaters, you can recover some damage if a shot is missed. I think you already know the answer to what exotic performs better, but let's do some more testing, shall we? Golden Gun isn't even the best for damage pairing with the boots. Bottom Tree Night Stalker completely outperforms Golden Gun, ladies and gentlemen. If you saw the recent vid reviewing the boots, you will already know this, but for the sake of demonstration, let's just show you. Celestial vs Abomination, 160,000 damage. This we will use as our benchmark. Bottom Tree Night Stalker with boots and an 8x Feast of Light, an initial anchor shot of 13,000 followed by 6 more shots of 66,000 damage. For those of you that need a calculator, that's 409,000 damage, ladies and gents. The damage that completely makes Celestial look like a joke. I used exactly this tactic in the Ogre fight in the Shattered Throne during the livestream and in this clip here, being able to one phase the boss with ease. Anyway, that's it. Star Eaters for the win. I hope this video was informative and clarified things. I'll be looking at a Titan build for GM Nightfalls at some point this week. Look out for it. Until then, latest Guardian.